What's up guys, it's A Sound back with another video. And in today's video, I'll be talking about the different types of proteins. Let me know if you like these in informational kind of videos. Um, they're new to me, but I also learn a lot when I'm doing all, looking up all the information and learning about the topic. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and let's get straight into it. Everything changes. Why would you want to use protein? You want to use protein to build muscle mass and recover fast after a workout. Or if you just in general lack protein in your diet, it's a great way to get that protein back just in a quick drink. Most people don't even know that there are different types of proteins. There is beef protein, which comes from beef gelatin. Beef protein boosts the body's creatine levels, which the body naturally produces. This leads to building more muscle. Beef proteins also have almost no carbs or fat, but they don't usually taste as good as some of the other options. Another type of protein is casein protein, which is made from liquid milk. The body absorbs casein protein powder slow, slower than other types. Some people even take it before they sleep for their body to have several hours to absorb it. If you have issues digesting milk, then you will have the same problem with casein protein. And you wouldn't want to use this after a workout because of how long it takes to digest. There's also egg protein. This comes from when manufacturers dehydrate egg whites. They are able to create an egg protein that can be converted to powder. Egg proteins possess numerous amounts of vitamins and minerals. These are still around when the powder is manufactured. And, and because egg proteins are naturally low in carbs and fats, it is considered to be overall a healthier protein. But they often cost more than other types of protein powders. Soy protein is extracted after soybeans are made into soy flour. Soybeans provide the essential amino acids, and if you are a vegetarian, then this is the plant-based protein for you. Soy protein is often cheaper and, and has more fiber than other types, but soy is a common protein in processed food. This means it will give your body no variety in protein intake. Finally, whey protein, which is dairy-based and the most common type of protein in protein powder, whey protein is great for building lean muscle while burning fat. It's quickly absorbed, so it's great after a workout. And an added benefit is, it is considered to have the best taste out of all the proteins. Whey will not work though, if you are lactose intolerant. And sugars are often added for flavor, which does increase the amount of calories. Not another type of protein, but something you might see next to them, is a mass gainer, which is usually extremely low priced. They may be marketed as proteins, but contain a higher concentration of non-protein nutrients. They are high in calories, so make sure to read your protein powders labels carefully. Alright, there you go guys. That's all the different types of proteins. I hope it helped you when you're going to pick your next protein. I have another video coming that's going to talk about uh, the top five proteins right now. And it was really interesting to me just to, personally as someone who lifts, to learn what each of the types of proteins do. So, if you really enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and make sure to let me know in the comments if you like this informational video.